Hello everyone, Fluffy here, uh, back with another mukbang. What I have for you today is uh, Indian chicken curry. And uh, I got this off Amazon when I was, I think so there was something else that I bought that I told you. They were kind of weird ingredients. Oh, that stir fry sauce. And so, this is what it looks like. And I did a uh, close up and I'll put it in right now. Didn't that look awesome? Yeah, the color, I'm hoping it came out as bright and vivid as it is. Um, I had to turn the lighting, so. Oh, sustainability in action. I guess this is a sustainable food. They use certain things for, I think that's awesome. But I'm not gonna read it because it's tiny and I'm hungry. <laughs> Let's get in here. Then she had, we had some rice. Oh, that is good. That is really good, y'all. Ooh, it's got a bite in it. Well, wasn't expecting that. Ooh, that's spicy. You didn't add anything? It's all from the curry? Oh, God, there's rice. <laughs> mm. Green beans are good. Mm. Views. That's the lipstick you bought me. That lip pencil. Looks good. I like the color. I know I've worn it out and about, but I'm not sure if I wore it on camera. I'm on the couch, y'all, because it started yesterday. The back of my knee. All the way up to my right butt cheek. And, uh... Have lemon water. I'm always joking around about how I'm a pain in my own ass. <laughs> because I have um my butt, butt cheek, it used to cause me a hurt all the time and trip to the emergency room, never could figure out what it was, and finally I had my, one day I had my ex kind of massage that area because I thought maybe it was my sciatic nerve because that's right around where it hurts. And she felt kind of a lump. So I went back to the doctor and they did some tests and I think they did a CT scan. And this was years ago. I have a cyst that caused a tear that's leaking fluid. And that's when I decided never to go back to this particular um, surgeon again because he uh, didn't know what he was doing. They had already tried to numb the pain with injections. And when he came back, he was prepared to do something else. And I'm like, I was just here for a consult. I already did this. And he seemed irritated that I corrected him. So he flat out said, in his words, you're too fat. I'm not going to do surgery on you. Yeah. Anyway. 
doesn't cause me too many problems except for when it's that girly time because then everything swells up and it puts pressure against there and I don't know if it's because I've been doing a lot of walking but the back of my knee started hurting usually if it's your sciatic nerve then it shoots down into your knee this started out in the back of my knee my kneecap is killing me it doesn't seem swollen but I'm overweight so it's hard to tell and it happened on the way to my mom's I left the house I got up from the couch or the, the chair to do something and I told my daughter I said oh my god my my knee is killing me and she's like what I'm like yeah so but I didn't want to miss Halloween so we went and it got progressive, progressively worse. And now the pain is from the, my butt up all the way to the back of my knee. I had a heating pad on it. I took a Viking about 8 o'clock this morning because I was up and down all night. And it was killing me. But I wanted to film. I want to try for as long as I can to stay on this schedule. So, plus, because we're shooting for every other day. I don't really want to say that, but I guess I said it. Whew, this is a peak eye, y'all. <laughs> it's not only stove hot, it's got, kind of, the Indians call it capsaicin, which that's the chemical that makes any pepper hot. Oleos and capsicum is what they use in pepper spray. Which is a part of the jalapeno or any hot pepper, the chemical that makes it hot. This weekend's my daughter's birthday weekend, and like I told y'all before, we will be going to my brother-in-law's house, my ex's brother's house. She hasn't seen him in a long time, and so we're going to go spend the weekend down there, so probably too exhausted. Tomorrow, we have to pack, and my niece is going to house sit, so I have to make sure my bedding's clean, and we have to pack. So normally, we would film Friday. So if we film anything, if I film anything, I say we because she does all this. If we film anything, it'll be something really easy. You know what I mean? Like breakfast or dinner or something. And then after that, if not, because we have a lot to do. If not, then we won't. you won't see another video to probably Monday because I don't know what time we'll be back Sunday. So it's just for the weekend. So I wanted to give you plenty of content before that. Well, I went to the couch because I can spread out a little bit more. And when I film in the chair, it's a little awkward. When I sit forward, it's hurting that cheek. So, on the upside, Boo Boo, come here. Come here. Come here. Say hi to everybody. At least you get to see Little Man today. And I think you saw part of Molly. She's been laying next to me. They miss you, Boo Boo, when they don't see you. Yeah, look, he's eating that up. Can I eat my dinner now? You can't. Oh, this is too spicy, baby. You can't have this. No, but I'll give you a snack when we're done, okay? There's your Mr. Molly's. Your ear. There she is. There she is. Check your Molly. Yeah. All right, here. Here's a piece of rice that doesn't have anything on it. Okay? Yeah, it's good. I can't leave Molly out. Molly. This is rice. Okay. All right, Sheba, come here. I can't see her, but come on. Everything else is covered in the spicy sauce. Well, it's like they noticed the bigger dog got the bigger portion. <laughs> Oh, we had fun at my mom's. We ended up getting rained out, so we had to have the festivities in the house, but it was still fun. Had a lot of family members there. Some couldn't make it. And we missed y'all. We really did. Let's see my uh, one nephew. He's my second youngest. Him and his wife couldn't make it. So, I could, But I got to see pictures of them trick-or-treating in their neighborhood so it was nice mm 
Here's the chicken. I don't know if I got a good view of it. Doesn't that look good? Oh, it's good. Chicken breast. Mm. She's continued on with the spring cleaning. <laughs> you know, you know that there's dog hair. We have three dogs in a duplex, okay? And so the dog hair, the big dog kind of sheds pretty pretty regular. So we knew it was building up. So she's like, oh, I gotta I gotta do spring cleaning and stuff. And um so she's been working on it for the last few days. By today, when she started moving furniture, <laughs> give those dogs away. I'm sick of these dogs. <laughs> now we're back to having concrete and not our furry carpets. Because <laughs> we leave the door open so much that the wind goes through her hair and it starts looking like snow drifts. <laughs> So then what sped up our calculator was when we first moved in, the bathrooms, is your tile exactly like mine? The tile in the bathroom, I'm sorry, to me it looks like floor tile on the wall, which they do that these days, you know. But they grouted it like they do in everywhere else, even where the tile meets the tub. Well, one of my brother-in-law's just uh, floors. And he said to use grout, he says you can use grout, because I've never seen it before. It's always the sealant, the caulk. He said, but you have to add sealant to the grout. Well, you know, we moved in here in January. And um, the water from the bathtub and the shower was taking the grout off. And we twice told them about it. And they just now came to fix it today. So, kind of expedited us getting stuff together. Because if my sister's coming, I mean, I don't want them to dog sit a messy house. You know, we're just, we're messy. You know what I mean? If I take the scissor from here and use it, I don't put the scissor right back. The scissor lays there, it lays over there. <laughs> That's just the way we've always been. And, Thank goodness that we didn't take a lot of our stuff with us. You know, we kind of purged, but you do that oftentimes enough, you look around going, damn, nothing's where it's supposed to be. <laughs> so, the most clutterous part was where our bar is. When I sit at the kitchen table and cook, that thingy that's behind me that has, we didn't do the chalkboard today. That's not right. Well, I'm a little like Norco hungover, but I'm good. Look into my eyes, I'm good. <laughs> oh, this stuff is good, y'all. Do not, um, I don't know if she watches me still. She doesn't comment anymore, which is fine because she's busy with her own channel. Um, I've watched a few of hers, but on the TV, so I haven't been able to comment. <coughs> Excuse me, Superfly. Girl, you couldn't ha you couldn't handle this. Just going by what you consider spicy in your videos, but because it is got a kick to it, almost as much as my shrimp that I used to get at the Red Onion. Man, our only Indian restaurant in town closed down. I don't know if I mentioned that before. It's called the Red Onion Indian Bistro. Oh, my God. It was a mom and pop shop. And they closed the doors. And we were part of their Facebook, or my daughter was. And it's a lot of work. And it was family run. And they said they had to close down because it just got to be a little much. We were sad. We're like, open up a food truck. <laughs> or just invite us to your house. <laughs> and I didn't. 
much to my daughter's frustration, I didn't veer off too much of what I normally eat. I really don't when I go to different restaurants. Um, I don't, as a rule, like lamb. It's got this aftertaste that I just, I find off-putting. But I've always wanted to try lamb curry. And, but, you know, I've got that lamb in my brain, you know, that flavor. Um, it was always one waiter, and he had like two busboys to help back him up. that he could work the whole room. And he remembered us. Every time we went in, even if there was a gap in months, he remembered us. And we got the regular stuff, and when we first went, he was very understanding, didn't get frustrated when we told him, we've never had Indian food before, so we're really not sure, you know, two or three times, he had the chef, when uh, my daughter couldn't make up her mind what she wanted, or even my ex, there were a couple of times that they got a special made dish that was not on the menu. This guy was great. So, we talked about that, you know, lamb, I would love to try lamb curry, but every other lamb that I've tasted, I... And he says, no, 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 no. This lamb curry you would like. So I, I don't know if he stole it from somebody's plate <laughs> or where he got it from, but he brought all three of us, me, my daughter, and my ex, a taste of the lamb curry. Y'all, I had it two times after that. It did not have that gamey taste. Gamey, that's, I guess that's the word everybody uses. But it was good. Because I would always get um, chili shrimp. And it was a... Uh, Indo-Chinese something, like a hybrid of Indian food, and it was so good. I've not been able to find the recipe on um, YouTube. In other words, where it ends up looking like the dish from the restaurant. I guess we could message him and say, since you're not open anymore, could you see your way to... Did you get some? Because yours looks different than mine. Are you picking through it? Some things you don't like? Hmm. Looks weird. You know what it looks like? It looks like a wonton. Like you threw a dumpling in there. This is the look I got. <laughs> Did I get that look right? <laughs> Must be the lighting. Um, remember last video I said there was something I had to touch? Still don't. I, it was, you know, I, I've given up on that. <laughs> Pretty much giving up on that. My youngest great nephew. Yeah. He was Mickey Mouse. It was so cute. He's like two. He was the one whose birthday we went. Remember, we went to the ballpark and then we went to the. Da, 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 um, da, 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 da. <laughs> no. <laughs> Their Norco's already gone. <laughs> he, when we went to his birthday party. So. It was so cute. And then his older sister, who is four and five-ish. She was rainbow bright. You know, the rainbow witch. Well, she was cute, too. Then we had Kylo Ren. The one that's going to babysit was some Mexican artist. I can't remember her name anymore. She had the unibrow, and then she had the flowers in her hair all the time. Some Mexican artist. She was her. I was so much pain yesterday, I didn't put my black lipstick on. But I showed my mother, and she went, I don't like that black lipstick. What'd I tell y'all? I knew it. Mm. Let's see, what does she have in here? I don't think I ran down it. Chicken breast, green beans, potato. That's what led me to go, ooh, there's potatoes in here. Potato, carrots, green beans. The mini bell peppers, the sweet bell peppers, you know, the small ones, she loves those. Easy to dice up. They're sweet and they go really well with any food. And then the curry sauce. 
I said carrots. Carrots, green beans, potatoes, or chicken breasts, and many bell peppers. Onions. Onions. Because we love onions. Look, you see the face? Here he is. For those who fell who miss his face. <laughs> We usually try to keep a container of snacks over here, but if we leave the house, we have to take them and put them up high. Trash cans, anything. With, you know, the 200 piece. <laughs> cough drop incident. I wouldn't be surprised if my daughter was still finding cough drops when she cooked, when she cleaned today. <laughs> really? <laughs> See? <laughs> Oh, I'm spicy. I'm sniffling, y'all. At least I waited 20 minutes. I really hope I used to get some nasty comments when I first started my channel for the sniffling that I did. But I explained that when I fell, either the surgeon did it or it happened when I fell. But my uh, tear duct and my uh, sinuses on this side were ruined. So for three months, I had to keep a tube up in there, I guess, to rebuild the sinuses for three months before it got removed and ever since then it doesn't take long for the sniffling to start because everything is numb from here all the way to here and it depends on how tired I am or whatever how far back it goes today it's like right about here the lip is numb right there's why putting on lipstick is interesting so if my nose drips on that side, I can't feel it till it hits my lip. And that would be like gross for y'all to see. So when I feel it on this side, but it doesn't always nasal drip from this side. This side's more susceptible. A lot of side effects of breaking your eyeball. <laughs> for breaking your face. I had a taco polaco at about 4 o'clock this morning. And that's all I've had. No. I woke up. And I was so sick because I had taken the Vicodin on an empty stomach. And it already makes me feel yak. I know. But I'm not an expert taker, you know. So I woke up and my daughter was moving around cleaning up. And I asked her to please bring me a piece of fruit. I know. We have other crap in the house and I'm eating the fruit. So I ate that and felt better, so I laid back down again. Thank goodness we cleaned a little quicker, like my bedroom. I had to pick up laundry and stuff. Because he came early. Mm. So right now, my buttock, my buttocks. <laughs> Do you know? In the prison, when they do report writing, this is how crazy it's gotten. When you talk about an, 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 an inmate's, that part of the area, like they fell on their ass, or they, you know, anytime you mention that area, you have to write buttocks. You can't write ass, which obviously it's a legal document. So I would never do that, but you can't say butt or behind. It has to be buttocks. <laughs> I'm kind of leaning on my left side, so it's relieving pressure on the right side. I've been having a lot of cramping of my feet, cramping of my calves, and I drink tons of water. I'm hardly doing any sodas anymore, y'all. There's none in the house. I had one. Did I have a soda last night in Grandma's? Yeah. I had one yesterday, and then on Sunday, uh, my mom let us bring one home. So we had one there, but I'm doing really good. We got a bunch of bananas, and none of them went bad. But, you know, I really need to get to the doctor, get some lab work done, make sure that my all my numbers are good. Because we, as a general rule, usually suffer from vitamin deficiencies. 
but now I'm the back of my knee and my kneecap. I have to lay all weird in the bed. <laughs> But dang it, I'm eating. <laughs> and I don't look too bad. Not too bad like a busted can of biscuit. <laughs> yeah, you see my complexion? No makeup. That child, though. I've only had two doses. It's doing really good. I'm hitting that wall, boo boo. You can't have this, baby. I'm sorry. It's just too spicy. Yeah. It's just too spicy. Yeah, it's just too spicy. I'm done, kid. Woo! Almost all. I'll take a breather. Ah. That stuff is spicy. Woo! Let me know if y'all get it off Amazon and what you think about it. <laughs> but I can't stop eating it. My daughter, usually when she goes to different Asian restaurants, she loves uh, chicken curry or shrimp curry. Both of them. And so if it's a new restaurant and it's on the menu, she normally, at least the first time there, will try it. There has been some that she loved and some that she says, won't be ordering that anymore. <laughs> but... I really don't think she hasn't met a curry she didn't like at this point. You have? Oh, okay. I'm telling lies, y'all. Well, 27 muck, 27 mukbangs. <laughs> 27 minute mukbang, not too bad. I was really hungry. I'm trying to sleep all day. I'm trying to get this pain to go away and I'll be all right, y'all. I'm, I'm trying not to sound like I'm whining, just letting you know. Sometimes y'all can see on my face when things aren't right, but I will persevere. It's my arms aren't broke and uh I'm not nauseous anymore from the Norco, so I told her, I said, let's, she's like, we should, we're supposed to film today, and I said, well, you've been cleaning all day, I said, if you don't want to, that's fine, I said, but uh, if we want to stay on our schedule, I said, I'll take something simple like a sandwich, do a sandwich, <laughs> grill a chicken, you know, chicken breast, and throw it on the ciabatta roll, but, uh, pardon me, she's been wanting to try the chicken, the chicken curry stuff. Ever since we got it, <clears throat> I have my nephew, my youngest nephew. No, not my youngest. The sister that has the four kids, her youngest boy, and his girlfriend. She wants to try pho, and there is a pho restaurant real close to my mom's house that she wanted us all to go to. And there was a debate whether her, her boyfriend, my nephew, would eat it. His mom says he won't eat it because there's... Um, too many vegetables in it and I said no because they don't they put the vegetables on the side most of the vegetables on the side um, I said what I think will be off-putting to him is the anise flavor my daughter calls it anise and I used to call it anise until every chef on Food Networks calls it uh, anise anyway you know the star anise anyway that's very powerful in pho so we still had some of that pho powder remember when my daughter made that vegged up pho and so last night we brought, uh, my daughter remembered and brought a container to um, 
to her. And when they both smelt it, even the nephew said, oh, that smells good. And I told him, I said, if you get the restaurant we went to, if you get the beef, uh, you get brisket and then parts of the fatty brisket and then a third thing. And I don't remember what it was. And uh, he goes, oh, I said, yeah, and all the veggies come to the side. You just add. And I said, I don't add all the veggies because I won't put mint in mine. <clears throat> so I'm hoping he'll like it. That'll be kind of interesting. He's, he, he branches out some to try different things. And I was really surprised that he liked the smell of the, you know, the broth powder. So uh, trying to think what else. Oh, have you called grandmother and asked her how she liked the chicken and dumplings? She brought her some last night. Her and uh, the my nephew, my niece, my nephew's girlfriend, the one I just talked about with the pho. So I'll be interested to know what they think about it because it was good. And y'all saw that it was good. <laughs> That's when I wish we had still a smell of YouTube. <laughs> Except for when the dogs come back in the backyard all wet. Because wet dog does not smell good. Um, so anyway, 30 minutes. I'm going to let y'all go. Uh, God bless y'all. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. Remember to always be kind. And I will talk to y'all real soon. Okay? Bye.